If you don't sit down, you will be disqualified. Yeah, that's bullshit. David, I mean, gente, what's good? Okay, okay, as you know, pero like, we're always conflicted, we're always arguing, somos Latino, but it's good arguments. And one of the good arguments recently was, who's better, Hector Lavo or Mark Anthony? Now listen, to me, I can't decide that. I'm in the middle, I'm conflicted, I can't do it, both of them are great. So we have these guys who are talking about Mark Anthony's the best. Team Mark Anthony. That's right. No more right. equals aquí. And then we have Gabriel and Eli who say Hector Lavo's the best. Hector Lavo. Tu sabes. Easy. We don't even need to do laundry because yeah, Hector Lavo. History. That's oh right, son. <laughs> anyway, let's just see if any of them can convince me to finally pick El Gran Salcedo. Let's do it. Opening statement, guys. So it's called history. That's Simple. Right. Look it up. Who Look started it, up. it all? Mark Anthony. <laughs> All right, hey, it's called history. There's one king, there's one person who started it all. It's Hector Lavo. I love me some Mark Anthony, don't get me wrong. But who created Mark Anthony? Hector Lavo. Do you all have an opening well, argument? Do you, you, you guys need a Google it? We don't disagree that uh, Hector Lavo is a legend. That's right. And that Mark Anthony would be nothing without Hector Lavo. That's right. However, we do um, agree that Mark Anthony is a icon, a Latino icon who's our, our contemporary, who's alive and still creating art to this day. And I can identify albums throughout my lifetime that like are associated with Mark Anthony. Whereas Hector Lavo, he's always been a part of the household and is like, yes, he has iconic songs, pero es un icono del pasado. Del pasado. <gasps> Hector Lavo, I don't know. I don't know if like children know who Hector Lavo is. Oh, okay. You know, sadly, yeah, it's about. sad, but why do kids know who Mark Anthony is and not Hector Lavo? Why do you have to Google Mark Anthony, though? Who? who? We, we wanted to check it out. Oh, no, 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 Anthony had because y'all yes. we want to be accurate. Uh -huh. how, many, how, many, how, many, how many of albums he sold? Yes. When you look at the numbers, there's one key difference. Mark Anthony had all the social media whatnots. Mark Anthony's still alive, so he got to be culturally relevant because he's aging to be with more relevant artists. If Hector Lavo was still alive, he would be doing the same damn thing and those numbers would but be But Mark Anthony was pause, popular pause, than pause, way before pause. social media. Pause. What? First of all, when you go to the Latin clubs, you still hear Hector Lavo. What songs, excuse me, what songs specifically do you listen to or do you hear in the clubs? In the club, we still hear. Yeah, yeah, Google it, Google it. Google it, Google it. Yeah, hey, hey. Periódico de ayer, El Cantante. We still hear that shit in the club. We go, especially Aguanile. Mark Anthony's dope, but they hardly plays his song in the clubs today. Mm. We're talking about Hector Lavo died in 1991, and he's still relevant today. Mm. La Perla. You already know, Calle Luna, Calle Sol, son. We can argue with that, but Mark Anthony has received how many uh, Latin Grammys? Two-time Grammy Award winner, five-time Latin Grammy Award. Oh, that's Awards. fantastic. 12 oh, million what? albums sold Over worldwide. 12 million. Great, I'm so happy for Mark Anthony. Got all the awards, got all these things, because Salsa Latin music is as popular as it is because yeah, Hector you already Lavo said that existed. Right. Exactly. He, he created the foundation, so Mark Anthony could walk up those easy steps and be like, "Give me the gold." Easy steps. Give me the gold. That's true. With Hector Lavo's era, there was no such thing as salsa before that. Right. You know, it wasn't as yes. popular. Yes. It was something that was new. Hector Lavo was a G. Like to this day, you look at the trajectory of him. When you see all his songs that's still hot today, if Mark Anthony's dope, I'm not gonna lie, but Mark Anthony is not in no Hector Lavo level. And yes, Lavo Mark is Anthony is. He's like, he's at the level of superstar. He's yeah. a super estrella. Yeah. Hector Lavo is he is cross-cultural. Yeah. Not he's... to mention all of the stuff that he does outside of music. He's an actor, he's a producer. He has three wives that were like oh, he has three beauty wives. queens. Oh, yeah. He has right. 10 <laughs> children. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Hector Lavo did all that and he didn't even have a Twitter account. Uh, so with uh, having to establish himself, Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Sit down, sit down. 
sit down or you will be yeah. If you don't sit down, you will be disqualified. Yeah. That's bullshit. Mark Who Anthony made that? You just made that shit up. Calm down, everyone. Mark Anthony has what the floor. Is Mark Anthony had a career almost a decade before social media became a thing and he was already popular. Because of what? His talent. He's still a legend in the making and he's already broken so many barriers and he is like the salsa artist of our time, of our generation. Okay, yes. and I have one question for both teams. What is the song that's a staple for Hector Lavoe? Mm. And I will give you all that same question. What is the song that Mark Anthony has that is the staple? El cantante mm. periódico de ayer. Ooh. All right, I think the time is up. It was, it was hard to really choose. Really hard for us to but choose. But we have to go with Contra la Corriente because that album killed, and that was the album that like broke barriers yeah. and which they Made hardly played Mark in the club. Anthony. Your mom still knows she every that song. words, every song on that album. Don't lie. It was, it was a good album. Lie. It was a good album. I, you probably know. But I fell asleep halfway through. And now, uh, what is the song that you would say is a staple for Hector Lavoe? El cantante. El cantante. Especially Aguanile. I, I periódico for, de ayer. I one song. It's El cantante. El cantante, I would say, is the top number one. It's, be, it's between that one and Periódico de ayer. Have you heard the Mark Anthony version, though? Exactly. Who wanted to play? Who's alive who? and who's dead? Who's all You can't play that? the other way around. Right. Mark Anthony mostly did love songs. Hector Lavoe mm. talked about life. He had a story with his music. And his shit was like nonstop. It was a masterpiece. Do you understand? He's, Mark Anthony's a masterpiece too. He's a masterpiece, but he didn't talk about the streets, the livelihoods. Like, what so we, it's what a different style through. and we're not comparing them. Then we are comparing yeah. that. Everything comes, more. I think I've heard a lot. I think I've heard enough from Mark Anthony. I think I've heard enough from Hector Lavoe. But if you all want to sum it up for me and give out some closing arguments. Okay, listen, it's called history. It's called yeah. context and it's called foundation of Latin music from all over the world. Not only with Mark Anthony, you could attribute any Latin artist, it all funnels down to one man, and it's him, and to the point where the opposing side is dressing up like him and singing his songs because he is that monumental. I got a really good closing off. I thought there was just one per team. No, no, yeah, no, not, one, not per one per team. Because I'm gonna shut it down right now. Take it away, Ariel, take it away. Hector Lavo died in 1991, still relevant today. In the future, people are gonna forget about Mark Anthony. None of his songs will be played 10 years from now in the clubs. Hector Lavo will still be relevant. Lock drop. Lock <laughs> <laughs> So dumb. And what's your closing arguments? Mark Anthony is an icon, a living legend. Yes, Hector Lavo is an icon and a legend, but I feel like it will pass and Mark Anthony when he unfortunately passes away his legacy is gonna live forever and slightly take over Hector Lavoe's legacy because he's a new generation. I think that both icons will coexist however I do have to argue that Mark Anthony has had a more prolific career he has made more contributions to um, not only music but also um, to film and also to humanitarian mm -hmm. relief efforts. Um, he is a big part of Puerto Rico's recovery. I think Mark Anthony's um, eight Grammys speak for themselves. So. That's true. All right, I think I have heard enough. I yeah, think yeah. that I have heard the best arguments of, as to why you would pick Mark Anthony or as to why you would pick Hector Lavo. And I have come to the conclusion that both of them are great. And I would not pick one or the what? other because, excuse me, you had your time. At the end of the day, if we want to talk about it, Hector Lavo paved the way for Mark Anthony to come in and solidify his career. Now, I would have said Hector Lavo was the greatest if Mark Anthony did not come in and go crazy and have done and has done what he has done. When you give someone a path, if they take it and they and they capitalize on it and become a household name, and you made that path for them, then both are winners. Hector Lavoe has an insane voice and music that you will always remember for the rest of your life. But Mark Anthony has left a legacy and an imprint on our generation's life and our parents. Neither of them are better than the other one. Both of them are salsa kings. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Lisa for president. We, yeah. we, we wasted all that energy. We wasted all that energy. I could not pick. How are you gonna tell me to pick? These guys 
are both legendary. Oh, Mark Anthony is a legend. Great job, guys. They're both legends. All right. And next time is J-Lo versus Selena. Oh, God, no. I don't think that's comparable.